Hello everyone, this is Jenny Yetto from the Pixie Post and I'm back with another exciting video. Now, if you're watching on my YouTube channel, I apologize for not doing the Mindful Monday. I do have one actually made, but it, there is a certain timing that I want to release it at. So just hang tight with me on that. But in the meantime, I decided to take a few days off, just kind of rest and rejuvenate. Now, if you're watching me from 3Speak on Hive, you already know I've been around, so you can't get rid of me that fast. So <laughs> I'm always around somewhere one form or another. So before we get into today's topic, I wanted to invite you to like and subscribe to my channel. I always have different types of topics on the Pixie Post. I address esoteric videos, humor, um, cats like my cat Timmy, the big dog he is, and, <laughs> and pretty much everything in between. Life is crazy, especially the way the world is, and I just kind of go with the flow and address whatever is in my life at that time. Today, I wanted to talk about something a little different. Now, I got a good response with my hamster video, and that kind of surprised me, but thank you for uh, liking that video so much. So I thought I'd keep up the theme of <laughs> animals, um, since I'm always having crazy adventures with Timmy, and then I have the hamster. Well, this time, it's not about my pets. It's about a funny incident that happened um, when I used to work at another hotel a while back. I worked there about, give or take, 15 years almost, and there were so many adventures, um, a lot of unique hotel guests, a lot of great events, a lot of great coworkers, um, a lot of chaos, you know, like any workplace is. But there is one particular incident I will never forget. And let's just say it's not something you would see every day. I worked the night shift at this hotel, and um, I usually did four tens, which was a wonderful uh, schedule to have because I had three days off. And being on grave shift, you need that extra day to really feel like you have a weekend. So I was on my weekend, and I had returned that on that Monday for me. And I usually started at 9 at night, and then I would start in one office, and that office would close at 11. So a little before 11, I would go down to where the front desk was, where the operators were in that back office, and work the rest of the shift there. So when I was in the transition of going from the main office to the front desk, um, I was good friends with the front desk manager at the time. And he was very type A personality. He was always crossing his T's, dotting his I's. Um, he was just very business-like, very serious. But when you got to know him, he had this really cool sense of humor. And it was very dry, but he always had that glimmer in his eyes, so it was really cool. And we had a good friendship where he would joke with me, and I'm just like, yeah, right, okay, dude, whatever. It was kind of one of those things, because he was always trying to, you know, throw me off in a, in a funny way. And so, you know, he'd tell me all kinds of crap, and I'm like, yeah, okay. And, and it was never true. He'd just make up all these crazy stories. So I was in the middle of going by the front desk one night, and he said, hey, hey, Jen, you'll never believe what happened. And I thought, oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> it's like I just said hello to you, and you're already, you know, going to tell me whatever, a wise tale. And I said, well, let me get to the back office first. So I walked back there put my stuff down and he comes to the back and he's like oh yeah yeah I gotta tell you this I said okay what happened he said well, well before you came down I had to address this guest I was talking with security I guess security had called him and said there was a noise disturbance in one of the rooms and uh, one of the guests next to that room complained about how noisy people were banging around um, and it wouldn't stop so, of course, it was disrupting their sleep because it's like 10 o'clock at night. And um, security said, okay, no problem. I'll, we'll get on it. So, usually by that time, they would call the room. Um, apparently, they had done that and there was no answer, but the banging was still going around. 
And so they sent one of the security officers to go up there, do what they called a welfare check, just to make sure nobody's getting killed, you know, and make sure everybody's okay and tell them to quiet down. So they knocked on the door, and I, don't, I can't remember if it was one or two of them. I'm thinking now it might have been two of them because, you know, kind of like the buddy system. And they knocked on the door, and there was no answer. So they knocked again a little louder. Mm, nothing. But they kept hearing somebody banging around like they were banging pots and pans or something. And they're like, okay, something is not right. So they used their key card, and they walked in. And according to my manager, when they opened the door, there was a llama sitting in the middle of the room. And yes, yeah. you heard me right. And they just looked at the llama like, What the hell is going on? And the llama looked back at them, like all surprised. <laughs> so apparently this was not a normal incident, you think. And they, <laughs> they started looking for the guests. There was no guest in there. It was just the llama banging around, doing his thing. No people in the room. You know, there's luggage and everything. And it was, the room was occupied. They double-checked. They're like, oh, my God. So I don't know how they handled the llama, but they apparently took the llama in custody. So they, they had a paging system there. So they had the operator page the guest's name. <laughs> and apparently the guest didn't answer the first time, but they answered the second time. And then... Um, when they answered, they were totally shocked that anybody would be upset about the llama. He said, oh, I was just downstairs playing in the casino. Uh, the llama was okay. And let me reiterate this. This was inside the main hotel. We did have a little motor, um, lodge. We call it the motor lodge, literally. Um, on the side where they allowed pets. Um, obviously like cats or dogs, not llamas, but, um, cause they could drive to that room and drive out just like a regular motel. So the guy wasn't in there. He was in the main hotel where no animals were allowed. And somehow he snuck this llama by surveillance. I have no idea how, because there was no other way they could get it up there. And... Nobody noticed this llama is walking through the casino, um, going up to this guy's room, and I don't want to know. And uh, the guy was really upset. He's like, oh, I was just playing the casino. And, and Mark, my manager, he was like, okay, I'm done, buddy. And he had an 86 the guy because he was getting really all riled up and defending his llama's honor. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know. I, again, I don't want to know. And he's just like, da, 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 I pay a lot of money here, blah, blah. <laughs> but apparently, he plays for the llama's ticket there, too. But anyway, I digress. So Mark said, okay, you're out of here, buddy. So he kicked the llama out and the guy out. They both went out on the street. Mind you, I never saw this happen. This is all happened before I went downstairs and I'm looking at Mark and telling me the story and I'm like really I said you think I'm that gullible he said no no I'm serious call security because I knew the guys in security they'll, they'll tell you I'm like oh yeah because you're probably all in on it and I I did I called one of the guys I knew in security I said is he telling me a load of crap or what and they're like no I'm serious and then I heard other people talking about it. And then I went out on my break later that night and I heard a guest talking about it. So it actually really happened. And uh, the, <laughs> the kicker is I kind of felt bad for the guests and the llama. Only because it was in the middle of winter. The whole area was sold out of rooms. So there's no other hotel you could go to. So I pray to God that llama kept him warm that night. Because otherwise they're freezing to death in their car. Um, if you can get a llama in a car. God, my head hurts. So, so a word of advice. If you're staying in a hotel, especially a casino resort, please do not bring your llama. Do not bring your goldfish. Do not bring your gerbils. Do not bring anything from the animal kingdom. And if they allow pets, that might mean a small dog or, or a service animal. That's different. Or a cat. 
but I don't even know why you'd bring your cat. Um, I have Timmy, but he stays with my neighbor when I go anywhere. So, I, yeah, anyway. So, that was one of the fun adventures of my hotel life a long time ago. And that was, like, probably 10 years ago. So, <laughs> But that story, I have never forgotten. And it was just freaking crazy. And we've had a lot of crazy people um, and, and crazy incidents happen. But nothing ever quite like that. <laughs> So, just a quick little video. I wanted to share that with you guys because you've been asking me, a couple of you have been asking me about it, and I don't want to say anything until I did this video. So, I would like you to take a turn, um, not, not disclosing any work information or anything like that. I'm not here to do that. But what is the craziest story you have if you're in the world of customer service? I would love to see your comments below um, or do a video response to this video. I'd like to kind of keep it going. Um, I'm with the animal theme just because I have the answer video, but it, it could be anything. But just maybe one of the craziest, funniest stories you can think of. And uh, you can write a blog about it, write a video, or just comment below. Um, if you like this video, please give me a like. It really helps my channel. And if you want me to do more funny videos like this, I would be glad to do that. But anyway, in the meantime, I will be back in the near future with some more content. And until the next time, to know thyself is to know thy truth. Namaste. And today, I, I don't know what I'm talking I really don't know what I'm talking about. Like normal. Like usual. All the time. Um, before I get into today, blah, 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 blah. A porky pig is back in town. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum.